morning everybody and welcome to Heart of the Matter Farm. I'm Lacey. Uh, sun is shining. I'm waiting for Stella to get done going to the bathroom. Um, <coughs> what Stella? She decided to tangle herself up. <coughs> I don't know if you can see her through the dill. There she is. She doesn't tangle herself anymore. Hold on a minute. So, got her untangled. <sighs> don't want to get my head stuck on the closing. All right, so for all of you that is out there, I'll try to keep the sun to my face so that way you guys can see me. Um, I left my dill, or not my dill, my basil. This is purple basil. I accidentally left to go to flower. I wasn't sure if I can do anything with it and what I can do with it, if I can do something with it. Um, and the same thing with my dill. I left that go and uh, yeah I don't know if there's anything I can do with it now that it has flowered I know there's some plants you can't do anything after it flowers so that's why I'm asking all of you people out there that uh, what do you do when your herbs go to flower if you can use them or not um, my chives are still good in here the rosemary I think is still good I don't know it's kind of the uh, basil kind of took over so and the horseradish that's horseradish back there guys so anywho oops all right so i figured i left you guys wait long enough of what our new animals are so i will show you our new animals on the farm all right so this animal we have behind our house and it's very quiet animal and um, the one is actually pregnant and will be due at the end of August. End of August, beginning of September. And I can see right now that the one water is leaking. Um, so yeah, I will show you them. Dun, 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 dun. Hi, big guy. Hey, do you want to come out and exercise? You will then. So this is Mr. Twizzler. He's five years old. We think he's a Netherland Dwarf. We're not sure either that or Mini Rex, but we're not sure. So he is one that we have no idea what it is. We're more leaning towards the Netherland Dwarf. So. Did you go in the hiding on me? Alright. So, it might be kind of hard to see. But she, <clears throat> she's brown. I'll go in a little bit more. She's a brown and white rabbit. There we go. Does that work? There you go. She's the one that's pregnant. And, um, no, Stella, you're fine. <coughs> And she is called Ginger Snap. That's her name. And here, let me zoom back out or you're just going to have a white fluff ball, is Daisy. Hey, baby girl. Now, Daisy is I buy now. Yeah. Daisy and Ginger Snap are both pure, pure French Angoras. Most of the time, Angoras you have inside in a cooler place, but these guys, I'm not a letting rabbits in my house. So, and this is, they get the morning sun, um, and then once it starts getting hot, they actually start getting shade, so we don't have to worry about that. Hi, baby girl. Are you going to let me pet you this morning? Huh? Hey, girly. Oh, they're so soft. You're such a cutie girl. You know that ginger or Daisy? Your hay rack got knocked down. Oh, I know what you want. You want food, huh? Yeah, you just want food. So, this little one, Miss Daisy, was born in May. So she's a younger one. She's the youngest. Of for right now, anyways. 
and then Ginger Snap was born last October. So she's got a couple months ago and she'll be a year old. And like I said, this guy, Mr. Twizzler, is five years old. So here is the other animal that we have. Now this one is in the house. It has to have a light and a UVB light. Uh, let's see. Where is she? Her name is Peaches. There she is. She is a Russian tortoise. She's about four or five inches long. Or big, however you want to say it. She's sleeping. There we go. So this is her enclosure that she's in. Her lights get turned off at night, and then in the morning I turn them on. Um, and then she'll slowly wake up and come out. There's her water so she can climb in and out. And her food which the white stuff is calcium that you have to give them. So, so yeah. When she's out and moving about, I'll try to get some more video of her. So the new animals that we have are our kids' animals. Sorry for the best back here. I got a little lazy nap last night. Spent time with the kids. Um, but, um, so the rabbits are two of my kids', the oldest and the youngest. Um, the oldest has two, and the youngest has one. And um, the neck and the tortoise is my other daughter's. Um, so the rule is they have to take care of it, um, unless they ask me nicely if they know they're going to be away, um, to either help their sibling that's at home to take care of it, if they ask them to take care of it, or to ask me nicely to take care of it. Um, if I have to, you know, if I see that they've gone too long or whatnot, which I don't want them to go that long without food, um, then, and water, of course, um, and if I have to step in and take care of it without being asked, then there's a very good possibility they will lose their animal. Um, we're trying to choose them responsibility that they paid for them and they need to take care of them. I, it's like the goats. The goats are mine. If I can't take care of them, then I will, you know, like if I'm sick or something like that or I'm hurting, you know, pulled a muscle or twisted my knee, you know, that kind of thing. Um, then, uh, I'll ask somebody to do them for me. I will even, like if I can do it, but there's some of the stuff that just seems to be taking too long, then I will, hold on, put you on the windowsill. Try and get my coffee around. Um, then I will uh, have somebody help me. Like I have the kids help me with um, the cats. They help feed the barn cats. Um, I'll have them help me to collect the eggs. Um, if I got a chicken that's broody, then I and I know it's the mean ones, then I'll take care of that. Um, but other than that, I will. I feed the goats unless I know it's ones that the girls can help me with because it's mostly the girls that help me because they're older and um, they can kind of deal with the way the goats can push around. Now I won't let them, the group that's outside, the goats that are outside, they really push and shove for their food. So um, I don't let them do that alone. They will help me bring the food in. So, um, and then the bucks. The bucks is the other thing that I don't let the kids feed. Um, it's more a safety thing. I know Olaf would not do anything to the kids on purpose. 
Um, and he's just, he's between 150 to 200 pounds. So, yeah. Um, he's pushing closer to 200 probably now with um, breeding coming around and I'm getting him conditioned good and all that. Chestnut, on the other hand, I don't think he would try anything on purpose either, but he has horns. And he has gotten me, and it's more accidental, um, just because he circles me when I do feeding. Um, sometime I will try to show you guys that. It's kind of hard in the buck pen because there's not really any low levels to set my phone on. I don't have a stand for my phone. I always have to find something to prop my phone up if I'm not holding it. So, with that being said, I need to get my butt outside and do chores. I have yet to go out and do chores, and I am late for the goat speaking. Not for me. Well, a little bit. I like to be out at 7 o'clock at least, um, but it's after. It's almost 7.30. So, yeah. Um... I can't think of anything else. So, yeah, so we have new animals on the farm. The joys of that. <laughs> uh, so, we'll see you all later. See you on the next video. Stay safe, stay cool, or warm, depending on what your weather is like. Today it's supposed to be in the 80s. I don't know what the humidity is going to be. I'm hoping. Right now it's kind of cool out. I'm hoping the rest of the day is out the way that I can turn these air conditioners off. Um, I don't like running them all the time, but when the humidity's up, you got to. Otherwise, it's a pain in the butt. Especially when the air decides not to flow too. So, we'll see you on the next one.